All right. So woke up today. Done some errands. Ended up walking in and Dis the Disney Lorcana. However you say it. Um, there was a box of it they had there that is the single player starter deck. So I'm interested to see what's in there to see some classic Disney characters. Um, you can see some of the cards they put on the back. So I'm kind of hoping there would be something neat in these. Um, don't really care about the new Disney related stuff, but uh, then got up, decided to take off, and went to the antique store. My goal was to pick up a couple of things. This was a freebie to me from the guy who sold me the three stickers. I'm working on my 1977 Star Wars, the blue series right now. Uh, this happens to be one of the ones from the Wonder Bread. So I've now got a couple of those. and So I'm going to try to work on those too. Picked up this beautiful, just sharp low corners, Princess. Picked that up today. Picked up the Han. He seems to have every one of them, so I may take another trip up there and just try to buy out the rest of what I need for Series 1. That will leave me only three cards to have in the entire Blue Series. And my favorite character right here. So I had to get this one. But that'll give me the entire Blue Series of Star Wars if I do those three cards and the rest of the stickers I'm missing, which is, I think, like five more. So it may happen soon here. Then picked up these. These are Disney cards. This is the Hall of Presidents. I have no idea. It says Walt Disney World Experience, so I still got to look it up. It may be a card set. These may be subsets in one. This may be cards you got there. I have no idea. But, as you can tell, they do the Haunted Mansion. Another Haunted Mansion card. And again, they break it down on the back for you with stuff. Um... It's got L503. That's the reason why I was thinking it's a specialty card. Maybe out of a set. Um, another Haunted Mansion, the Graveyard. And this one is the Liberty Bell. Or the Liberty Tree, which is where they <clears throat> do everything with the Liberty Bell. It's their version of it, pretty much. You can tell. Kill boat. A little bit of the river boat. And then the Hall of Presidents. So I thought it was pretty good. There was nine of them, so I grabbed all nine. They weren't a bad price on those. Less than a dollar a piece. <laughs> and then I picked up another Buck Rogers. It's big, but you see that right there in the side, the little marble group. I have the Whitman, so these, this was five bucks, I am, maybe there was two more, I'm almost thinking that I might actually grab the other two, I actually bought two last time, we gave one to my brother, so I may actually get him one of the, you know, regular ones to go in his collection of stuff, and it was just pretty cool, because like I said, they're in really sharp, you know, nice looking uh, condition. Also picked up this. This is a five pack. You got 
Punisher War, War Journal on that side. And got X-Men movie. Pretty cool on that side. This looks like a one that was probably at Ollie's back in the earlier part when I first did it. The more I looked at it after I bought it, it probably overpriced for what it is. That's three dollars a book and most of the stuff they stick in here, they put fifteen dollar retail value, so that's what the person charged, but I think it really is overcharged, so just because it's really not truly a truly that to me. Um let's see. Now I went to another antique store. I don't think I have anything else that comes from that one. Uh picked up this. Yeah, the Disney afternoon figures. Now, if you've ever seen these, these are like sort of flat like figures. If you look, you're looking for these Kellogg cereals to complete your set of 16 Disney afternoon figures. Now, as you can tell, they basically come set up in little two packs inside the cereals. I do have a few of those loose. Didn't know what they originally were, but over time have, and even want somebody with a video, I can't tell you who it was. But they're really neat. Um, I'm guessing these might have been a promotional thing or something that they sent out. Because you can tell it doesn't have to hang anything. It's just straight case with a minute like you would put it on display. But this is pretty much what they look like. I mean, you got DuckTales. You got Uncle Scrooge. You got Chip from Chip and Dale. You got... um. I remember his name from the gummy bears. Uh, his name will come to me. It's something to do with like being fat. And then Blue from Telespin. And all of them, like I said, are more flat than normal. But they're pretty cool, though. Uh, I've seen somebody with the whole collection of those, like I said, and then doing that. Now, I got these big little books. Picked up this one, which is a Yogi Bear. Picked up this one, which is Huckleberry Hound. And real cool was all the rest are actually the Flintstones. Now, this is my time period of big little books. I know a lot of people are going after some of the older ones. These are the ones that I look for. And try to get because this is from 1977 I would have been nine doing my big little books at the time and that's why I really like these because this would have been when I grew up and was collecting stuff like that so and it would have been just after I started collecting superhero related stuff so big little books was one of my earlier introductions to stuff like the Long Ranger and everything else. I picked up this. This is... It, it's pretty neat. I, I didn't know what it was exactly at first. But, you know, five bucks. I was like, yeah, I'll take a shot at it and see what it is. But it's actually showing each cartoonist. And then showing some of their work with it. And sort of what motivates them to be the cartoonists that they are. So, it was pretty neat. I liked, I liked it. And I've looked through it and it's got some neat stuff. Picked up. These four. Detective Comics 491. And Detective Comics 494. And again, just working on that, uh, those bigger ones like that, the dollar ones. This Tarzan Jungle Annual from 1956 from Dell. Pretty excited to find that because, like I said, normally don't find them. 
and picked up this Bugs Bunny Vacation Fundies from 1956. Really thought that was a cool find. Uh, again, it's like number five of this or something like that. But, you know, 1956, that's a pretty good deal with that. Also picked up this. As a big Tarzan fan, this would be 1990, looks like 99. This is the animated series when it first come out. Um, I thought that was just really cool because, again, it's got Disney magazine back then. Talks about meeting Inspector Gadget, Secret of Disneyland, Asia uh, de debuts its Walt Disney World. Um, talking about in Paris, but also its animated presentation of Tarzan. Again, Bugs Life video game from Activision on the back. So, just another of oh, many of my Tarzan collectibles, in that sense. Alright, the last three things that I can see is first one is my first one I actually own this way. I never see them. This is a gold key mystery uh, comics digest, so for please believe it or not, I don't find these, so I thought it was a good find. Of, when I've seen it, I just happened to walk up on the second floor where the antique store was, spot them, you know, spot it, and it was literally laying by itself, so I grabbed it. Picked up this from, I think it's 1954. Uh, Tom Corbett, stand by for Mars. Yep, it is a hardcover. As you can see. Now, it's a little rough with some of this. And I'm also working on this Tom Swift run right here that this is talking about. And I'm sure Graphic Man could turn this into a phenomenal wraparound cover if he wanted to, to correct it. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really neat. Um, I love the whole hard covers and stuff. I don't know about you, but um, if you look at his face, now the helmet's really close on this one. Usually they're much more bubble-like, bigger but if you think in terms of a late 70s, early 80s star that he looks like right there, he actually looks like, it'll come to me in a second, but the guy from Police Academy. Um, he was in Three Men and a Little, you know, Three Men and a Baby um, with Tom Selleck and Teddy Danson. His name will come to me after I shut off the video. So, if you know his name, stick it in the bottom. I, I know, I know it. It'll hit me as soon as I get off of here. But that's who he looks like to me. It's, and I know he wouldn't... He probably just had been born by then at the most. Um, and I swear I can't remember his name right now. Like I said, it'll come to me. The last thing I picked up was this this has got some um, killer stuff in it this is actually the second printing and how you can tell that and I'll show it to you if you look here this is $6.95 the first printing is $5.95 so it is all the different stories, just like you see, Fantastic Four number one, Spider Man number one. So it's got a lot of great stuff, though. So, but that is pretty much it. Uh, if you come up with that name, which I'll probably come up with right after I get off, just uh, pop it down in the comments. All right, that's my haul. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.